Hey everyone, welcome back. This is DHTV with another video on the Nexus 7. Now today's video I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your Nexus 7 and remove some of the lag issues. As always, the link will be in the description if you want to watch more videos on the Nexus 7 or learn more about Android devices, so definitely check it out if you're interested. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. All right, to start things off, we're gonna get into some simple practices that you can do just to speed up your Nexus 7 on a regular basis. First off is a very simple one. We will open up the task manager here uh, or multitask feature and you wanna close the applications you're not using. And I tend to do this a lot because I have YouTube open and different applications. And as you add to them, it's going to slow it down. So just by doing that on a regular basis, it should help out a lot. Another good practice is to always check on your memory. If you've noticed it's getting a little bit slow, go into your settings application here, go to the storage section, and this will show you how much total space you have on your Nexus 7. It'll also show you what things are using up most of your memory, so the apps, the pictures, etc. And you can tap on that and actually see a more in-depth look and see which applications or which specific things are taking up most of your memory. So if you notice you have a bunch of applications that are taking up too much memory, We'll just say Real Racing 3 here. We'll open it up and you'll be able to force it to stop. You'll be able to uninstall it, which would remove some of the memory and free it up for you. So we'll go ahead and uninstall that application. And then you can go back to the section at the front and you'll see the apps has now dropped down to 1.65 gigabytes. So this is a way you could free up memory, especially if you have a lower gigabyte model like the eight gigabyte Nexus 7. The next way to speed up your Nexus 7 and sort of remove some of the lag is to actually go into the Currents application. And you wanna tap on the top right here and this will bring up your settings. You wanna tap settings. And within this section here, what you wanna do is basically tap on the enable background sync and turn that off. This way it only syncs with your Nexus 7 when you open up the current app and not while you're running in the background. Now this one is a very popular method. It's one of the more popular methods that people are using to speed up the Nexus 7. The next tip here is going to be more advanced. We're gonna change up a couple of the settings here that are gonna change the animation method of the Nexus 7. So traditionally when you open up applications, you see them sort of kind of swoop in from the top right or go into the middle. If we go back to the home you'll see it'll kind of close and decrease into the middle of the device so what we're going to do is actually open up our settings application or settings tab here and what we want to do is go to the developer settings which are located at the bottom here now if you don't have developer settings located there what you want to do is go to the about tablet section now from here we're going to scroll down just a bit and we're going to go to the build number and you want to tap on that a bunch of times and you'll see you are now a developer will appear so you need to tap on it about six to seven times so when you see that appear we'll go back to our about section there and we'll scroll down to the bottom and you see we have developer options. So now we can access some of those features here. Now from this section right here, first you wanna make sure that your developer options is set to on. So just slide it to on. And then you wanna scroll down to where it says window animation scale. And you've also got two other sections, transition animation scale and animator duration scale. Now by default, all three of these are set to one. So if we open up the window animation scale, just to show you how this actually works, we'll set it to 10 and now if I tap on it you'll see how slow the actual animation runs so you see it took a long time to open up now if we go back and set it to off you'll see that we're gonna get a very fast animation scale almost immediate so this should help speed up any of the lag from opening up applications so you can set that to 0.5 or to off and you want to do the same with the next two we'll turn them off and the animator duration scale as well, we'll turn that off. And another thing that you might wanna check out while you're in this section here is to make sure that your USB debugging is not selected. Uh, some people have mentioned that this has helped as well. All right, so that should help you speed up your Nexus 7 and remove any of the lag you may have had. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below, I'm happy to help you out. And don't forget if you found this helpful and enjoyed it, hit the like button as it helps me out. And don't forget, subscribe for more videos like this one. One. The new PlayStation 4 and the new iPhone should be released later on this year and there will be tons of videos on that So there's a lot of great content coming up on the channel. So definitely subscribe for that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching